I'm here at the drag races today with this guy. Let's go over and ask him some questions. Hey, Steve, how's it going? Super duper. <laughs> Like to go 200 miles an hour in six seconds. 200 miles an hour on a pro-stop drag bike, it's like hanging on to a bullet after it's been shot out of a gun. That might be a little corny for you guys. Uh, how about the fastest roller coaster in the world without roll bars and seat belts? That might be corny too. At the end of the day, it goes 0 to 60 in a second, just under 200 miles an hour in a quarter mile. Hanging on is the most important thing that you can possibly do. Because you have to be on the bike when it crosses the finish line. I bet. I can imagine that's a little intense. It's a lot of fun, but there's more to it. Let me show you my ride. Pro Stock Motorcycle, okay? Start back at the wheelie bar, come back to 10 inch wide Mickey Thompson Slick. Put up into the part of the area where there's a computer, all the ignition system, an on-door vacuum pump. The vacuum pump will produce about 25 inches of vacuum at 14,000 RPM. Up here in the engine compartment for you motorheads, has 107 cubic inches, makes 380 horsepower. No turbo, no nitrous, no fuel injection, no supercharger, just four carburetors. Dual overhead cam, uh, regular uh, hand controls up here, clutch and a brake, and a dead man switch. That's how we started. Other than that, what yellow that's our ride. So, Steve, I think people are dying Almost to know. Do you take your bike off any sweet jumps? Of a second, each other. Any sweet jumps? 954 for Parker at 166, 947 hey. for Hutchins. At I got a dirt bike. Dirt bike will go over some sweet side. jumps. So, uh, here comes Craig 60 feet pirate. in the air doing a triple go at here. Anaheim. That's not me. That I'm the guy that hauls right to it and then slows down and then takes the doubles. Is go long no down. triples Scott for me. But the technology that it takes to have a motorcycle to go over the triples is kind of the technology that we have inside. So come follow us inside. Here's the crew chief's area. Got an onboard data retrieval. Uh, I've got all kinds of information here that I have nothing, no idea what it does, but, but Tim and Sam and, and Rick um, get together, they make uh, some ideas. Uh, basically here's engine RPM is the green, and uh, this yellow here might be an accelerometer. Um, here's the shift points, these lines across here are exhaust gas temperature, uh, there's air fuel ratio here somewhere, right here is the blue. It starts off in this gear at 13.8 at, uh, to 1, ends up down here at 12.59 to 1, and that's in one gear. Uh, there's a vacuum that I told you about that's uh, got vacuum on the engine, actually uh, positive crankcase ventilation. Um, and there's a, here's the one that Tim always looks at. This line needs to be wide open, or it needs to be straight, and I'll tell you why. That is wide open throttle. If the driver does not have wide open throttle, why are you the driver? Okay? You gotta hold the thing wide open. That's um that's some of the data retrieval, but the technology that goes in to receiving this and to make the changes with our engine and the clutch and the wheelie bar and the tire, those are the same kinds of process that you get and you learn technology that Cengage is, is obviously so famous for. That's the information that we want to be able to pass on to you. Now, speaking of that last thing, i got to show you some of the coolest stuff about our engine. And it's right behind me. Here's the crankshaft. This crankshaft is about 5000 bucks. It'll go about 15 miles. This is what happens when it goes 15 and a quarter miles. So, not good. Plenty of transmission stuff. And the tools. Right here. I know all you guys that are technicians think, hey, you're wasting a lot of space. But, that's uh, keeping tools organized is what the guys need to do. Now, one more chance for a question. We'll go into the lounge. Here's the lounge. Uh, some say where all the magic happens. Sponsors, media, proposals, who knows? <laughs> well, 
Well, I'm not going to propose, but I do have one last question for you. <laughs> nice. Do you think I could take your bike out on a, on a ride? To ride it? Yeah. <laughs> I think I can handle it. What do you think? Tell you what. This is called the dead man switch. It hooks to us, and it's what enables us to start the motorcycle. If you can start the bike, you can ride it. All right, I'll give it a try. <laughs>